So she's got her dude in here, and he's another tenant, and that puts me back up full tenant status. It's the way the law works. I talked to a paralegal, I talked to the legal team, and if there are others, and I'm one of many, normal legal status. So this is bullshit. I should have the rest of this month, and it sucks, Like, but i am fucking been working on a lot of potential options. And frankly, they're absorbing my time and fucking wasting my time taking away for that. Because I was really considering one of these travel trailer situations or something. But I am concerned that I get the police would put fucking impound it or something and I lose everything. Like, that's a serious issue. But it let me be mobile and I could get far and away from the stalkers. Completely separately, it's a Northern California bit. Maybe I can get labor, just with weed farming and stuff. But it's not much. I mean, it's real work, farm work. And but I might be able to get twenty an hour now that minimum wage has gone up in California. You might usually it's like ten dollars an hour, you know, which, which is barely. Mm. that could be one of the good old boys you have to be cool or street savvy and I've, I've done a, asked tons of people about northern california work since a little weird and gangy but if you're just a joe and you're no competition it's like the white it's like the white people are the farm boys the workers the latino mafia grow sites it's like the it's a reverse psych trip like we're the the cheap labor but you get weed and that vibe and <sighs> this is bullshit I have to be very careful with what I do and I don't think from my knowledge of the financial situation of the world and where my investments are at and stuff I think it's worth it just to accept full homelessness and and hard style it because spending now will cost more later the ethereum thing is real Please, everyone, go get into Ethereum right now. It's, <laughs> um, it's a serious thing. Like, and it might they just approved uh, yeah, the ETF thing, exchange traded funds, the just like they did with Bitcoin, and it blew up and made record highs. And if this does the same thing, it could be insane how big it gets. So. Hmm. The the idea behind the travel trailer, I yeah, I kept running into some math stuff. If you buy one that's already depreciated substantially, and you can buy them as old as 10 years with financing, so if I go to 2015, it's already depreciated, there's a certain floor to the price, and they don't get any cheaper if they're functional and kept well, um, which makes it suck, because they don't get any cheaper, and there's a limit to how cheap you can get one. However, if it's not new and already t taken the depreciation hit, you are not going to lose a hell of a, it's not like buying new and losing 60% of the value in two years. It's going to go down a lot less and that's equity built almost like a house. So a properly aged investment level RV is trying to harness that power because a thousand a month rent is just... <clears throat> It, it burn it's a lot of money to burn but this could be a 10 year 15 year uh commitment and when i'm done with that i can still get a little bit of money out of it like i keep, I'm, I keep my shit pretty good the messiness in my apartment last year was part from her from her hoarding i i do all right i don't know 
but I need time to look. I've, I've got a shop for a lot of different things, and one of the things is the truck itself, because it seems the trailer, the pool trailer, is the only real option. Class A's are too expensive. Class C's tend to be too small. But maybe. And there's a trick with Camping World. There are 200 of those things across the country, and they're all connected under one giant umbrella, and you can get a delivery for free from anywhere to anywhere. You can get it to you for free, which is a pretty cool thing. And uh, you can get service at them, and you can pitch camp there for up to three days. Like, that's getting to be a lot of benefits. Like, it give you an emergency. In theory, I can show up in a parking lot with a fucking pup tent while my ride's getting fixed. So, building equity is building equity. Paying rent is burning money. And five years in, I'd have a chunk. If I sold it, that would be a big chunk towards like a house or something. I can't really do a house unless I do the business and make a business on the business by it, which I'm really considering doing, but I need a little stability first before I start a business and try to build it to where it can, it has the credit necessary to buy a house. I want to do all that, but it takes time and effort and I have to have stability for it all and I'm never stable. Oh, 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 I can start yakking about this. I paid off someone online to be a co-signer for me, and he said he would, and probably it's a scam, and I'll do a big video about it, but whatever, someone said they'd be a co-signer to get an apartment. In that case, I found Northern California apartments in the 900 range, 900 to 1,000, in my name, legitimate. Oh, I just had to have a co-signer. Uh, that would let me have a positive income I could just squeak by and survive on that, and it wouldn't be a roommate situation. This dude's being a dick. He's, he's mad at me. Get this. We're high, and I try to stop him from leaving because we got high together, and he's going to get in his car and leave. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that and try to stop his ass. I couldn't either. And now he's all mad, butthurt about it. I'm like, dude, that's just 101. You, you friends don't let friends drive fucked up. You, you don't do that. It's a, a hell no. Oh yeah, plus I got you fucked up. So if there's like some liability with that shit, I better fucking try to stop him. And I did. So he, you, we can confirm I did what I could. Oh, some people are so stupid. But you do acting like my father figure and shit and telling me education about stuff and he was some and he I heard him crack because he was like, Dude, you're you're just a fat retarded guy, you don't worth anything. But I could see after he sat with me a little bit and saw I do a computer so he could tell he, he made a comment on accident on that. I'm like, Oh, you really do this shit. Like, yeah, I'm always fucking on it. I always, always am mentally grinding. And if it wasn't for the bullies taking so much of my time and they're involved here. She's talking to them and whooping it up. Of course, she's also a MAGA and religious conservative. He is too. They're both. They're like, the spirits get in the shoes that night. Ugh. And she's a MAGA, build that wall, donate money. And, he, and she was calling me a felon and stuff today. Like, yeah, I'm fine. Well, Trump's a 34 felon. 34 time felon. It's his conviction week. We should have a bottle of wine for that or something. Well, I need a co-signer for a place, and I don't have that, but surprisingly, I can get financing for an RV to a pretty big degree. I got approved on 38000 or something, and my, my credit's doing nothing but going up. Big time. I have financed a bike for that reason. And that's another thing. I need to sell that second bike. I've been trying to sell it. And not real, real hard. But I had the for sale sign on it and I sold the trunk off of it. And I need to get <sighs> Anyway. Well um uh... 
I need help or a miracle. 